Hi, I'm Casey with Nectar Flow Yoga, offering a short flow for stress and anxiety relief. So today we'll be working through a short meditation, some pranayama techniques and mudra techniques, as well as some movement in the body coming back to a final restful meditation. So I encourage you to have some sort of prop, be it a stack of blankets, a very firm pillow to sit up on, or even some blocks or books with a blanket draped over them, so that you can bring your hips higher than your knees and have a nice tall spine. So come to that comfortable seat, and honestly, you can even sit in a chair that is comfortable if you can keep your spine long, if that works for you. But find that comfortable seat. Go ahead and close the eyes. And we'll place the palms to face down. Starting the process of centering ourselves here. And giving yourself the grace to know that the mind will wander. But is working toward stilling the thoughts that we're going for. When we focus on our breath on the experience in our physical body. We're giving the mind a task, but it is a task that keeps us present. This attention and awareness to breath, to softening in the physical body, takes us out of our sympathetic nervous system and into our parasympathetic nervous system. Into a place where we can respond versus react. A place where we can sit in mindfulness. We'll work in the beginning here simply to slow our breath with the option for counting our inhales and exhales to ensure that they are even. And here we're breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And to prepare, We'll take one breath in long and smooth through the nose. Take that inhale. And we'll sigh it out through the mouth. Flush it out. Let's do that once more. Breath in. Sigh it out. And then here, seal the lips. And we'll inhale to the count of four. One. Two, three, four. Exhale to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Release your jaw. Exhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Adding on to the exhale, inhaling in your head to the count of four. Exhale to the count of five. Slow that exhale down. Again, silently to yourself, inhaling to the count of four. Exhale, count of five. Last round with that ratio. Inhale, count of four. Exhale through your nose, slowly count of five. Adding on one more count to the exhale. Inhale, count of four. Exhale, count of six. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale. If at any point the counting feels a strain or a stress, simply back off and breathe naturally on your own. Feel free to join us or to simply sit and breathe and listen. Here on this next round, we will add in a retention of the breath at the top for just two seconds. Inhale, count of four, one, two, three, four, retain, one, two, exhale, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, last round, inhale, one, two, three, four, retain, or kumbhaka, one, two, Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, count of four silently to yourself. Exhale, count of five. Inhale, count of four. Exhale, count of five. Inhale, count of four. Exhale, count of four. And try to keep this pace throughout our practice, inhaling and exhaling. your hands together at your heart and we will begin our practice now that we have calmed and evened out our breath with three ohms when we ohm we're creating the universal sound of one and I think now more than ever so important to try to connect beyond the physical Connect on a cerebral vibration level. So we'll inhale, take a breath in to prepare. Exhale fully. Inhale to OM. Flutter your eyes open. And I'd like to begin with a form of nyasa, which is um, in a way like a mudra or a hand movement. We'll just bring some flow and focus into the body and into the breath. So here with hands at the heart center or even layered over the heart, we'll begin with the left side. I want your gaze to follow your thumb. On the inhale, you'll open up the left hand out to the left. And exhale, bring the hand back to your heart. Inhale, right hand out to the right belly, up and in. Exhale, hand back to your heart, chin to chest if you'd like to get some length in your neck. Inhale, open. Exhale, hand to heart. Just back and forth with your breath. This is a beautiful way to move. Connect movement to breath to help measure that four count length of breath. And just a few more rounds here. Oh. 
Focusing on the experience of breath. Noticing the chest rise and fall with inhale and exhale. Last one to the right here. Open up. Exhale, hand to heart, chin to chest. And release your hands down by your side. Here I'd like to experience the breath into the rib cage. We'll add some movement of the arms. Please pay attention to your arms. Staying high and wide here, palms facing in, and you'll reach through the pinkies versus fingertips toward the ceiling. Really important as we open up into the shoulders and focus more on the breath. So hands can come down by your sides. We'll let the breath precede the movement. So I want you to begin your inhale. And then let the arms float. Vessel of the arms can be kind of heavy until they extend at the top of that inhale. Begin your exhale belly up and in. Let your arms float back down by your sides. Begin your inhale. Feel the chest lift. Feel the arms lift almost naturally. Begin the exhale belly up and in. Arms begin to float down by the sides. Back and forth like that. Maybe close your eyes. Feel the experience of letting the breath precede the movement. This allows breath to take center stage, take priority over the movement. And when you really dial this in, it's as though the breath itself is what's moving the arm. You may also begin to notice the lift, the expansion of the arms as it expands the ribs and creates more space for more breath. Likewise, the lowering or contraction of the ribs, the arms, the core assists a full and complete exhale. Let's take one more. And then we'll exhale, release the arms. From here, I want you to walk yourself forward, coming out of that seated position and into a tabletop position to start. And we will take Chakra Vakasana. So this is similar to, but different from Cat Cow. We will not be doing a big drop of the belly and a lift of the tailbone as a back bend. Instead, I want your knees about hips width or a touch wider, your toes to touch, and then you're simply going to wrap the shoulders back and just open through the collarbones. Look forward, and then on your exhale, really round as you press into your hands to shift back to a child's pose-like shape. On the inhale, you'll come forward, open through the chest, look forward. On the exhale, You'll round your belly up and in and bring your forehead down to the mat. Again, focusing on letting the breath precede the movement. The inhale takes you all the way up. On the exhale, you'll begin that exhale. Feel the belly contract and then round the low back, the upper back. Begin the inhale. Begin the exhale. Back and forth, feeling into the experience of linking breath with movement. Just one more round, look forward, and then exhale, land here in a child's pose. Center your forehead down. Check in with your state of being. If thoughts and worries begin to creep into this space now, you can use your exhales to flush them away. Knowing that those thoughts and worries can return at another time. This is your space here to be present in your breath and in your body. Your next inhale, press into your hands and rise back up. And we'll take 
that sort of niyasa style movement here into our tabletop position. A little more strengthening here as we will find balance as well. You're going to inhale, bring your push your right hand into the mat and take your left hand to your heart as you sweep the left arm open and then exhale, come back the way you came. Inhale, bring the right hand to your chest, brush your shoulder, reach. Exhale, back the way you came, elbow stays high, back and forth, inhale, exhale, inhale, twist, exhale, release, inhale, exhale. Inhale, twist. Exhale, release. And then from here, we'll take some circles, just some organic movement. Not worried at all about what this looks like, but more what it feels like. So hip circling, softening where you need to soften, engaging where you need to engage. Just feeling in some rotation in the spine and the pelvis, in the shoulders and in the neck. Almost like a dance here. A little jump roping of the spine. And then from this place, we will tuck our toes, shift our hips back, and press back to downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and a big exhale. Let your head and neck go. Now, if down dog does not work because of the pressure in the wrists, I encourage you to take tabletop or maybe even take puppy pose similar to down dog because we're getting all this length here in the spine. So holding puppy tabletop or your down dog. We'll take one more breath in and then from wherever you are, we'll walk the hands back to the feet to find a forward fold. Let your head and neck go. Find a deep bend in your knees and maybe even grab your elbows, creating a little box here for or a frame for your head and neck. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Release your hands, plant them on your shins, and inhale up halfway. Find a cow pose shape or a little bit of a back bend in your spine. So we are not tucking the tail and rounding the spine as we lift. Very important to extend through the crown of the head. And then exhale, fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips down toward your heels, and you can use as much support of your hands against the mat as you need, or Play with lifting weight out of the hands as you round your forehead toward your knees. Ball pose. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Rock the weight into your heels. Bend your knees. And you'll inhale to rise all the way up to stand. Arms are high and wide. Exhale, release your arms. Begin your inhale. Feel your chest lift, feel your arms lift. Gaze up. Begin your exhale, release your arms. One more like that and we'll add on. Begin your inhale, lift your arms. Begin your exhale, release your arms. And then from here, layering on, we'll inhale, then reach, reach up. On your exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. On your inhale, lift up halfway. Breath precedes the movement. Begin your exhale and fold into a ball pose. Begin your inhale. Release your heels, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale starts, 
Rise up, reach up and out. Exhale starts, release your arms. Twice more like that. Inhale, lift, reach. Begin your exhale, then bend your knees and fold. Begin your inhale, halfway lift. Begin your exhale, ball pose. Begin inhaling, halfway, lift up. Begin exhaling, belly draws in, you fold. Inhale, bend your knees, root down, rise up to stand, reach up. Exhale, release your arms. Begin your inhale, lift your arms, exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Find your ball pose. Begin inhaling, feel the belly fill. That helps lift your spine, drop your heels. Exhale, then fold. Start the inhale, rise up to stand, exhale, hands at your heart. Good. From here, we'll start to make our way to the top of the mat with some asymmetrical movement, breathing, preceding our movement. So I want you to turn your left toes out on an angle, feet are hips width. So it's as if I'm cutting a slice of pie with this left foot, left toes turn out to the left. Hands can go to your hips or we can play with inhaling the arms up at the same time. So pick your choice, more stable to have the hands at the hips. We'll inhale, step that right foot just far enough forward that we don't have to really lunge or change the integrity of what's happening in our upper body. So inhale, step forward. Arms up overhead, exhale, bent front knee and you'll fold. Let your head and neck go. Begin your inhale, then rise up, reverse swan diving. Exhale, hands down to your sides. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale to open your right foot out like you're cutting a slice of pie with that right foot. I like pie, that's my analogy. And we'll inhale, step that left foot forward, bending into the left knee. Exhale, dive over a bent left knee. Head and neck release. Really push down into the left foot here. Inhale begins, then we start to rise or reverse swan dive up. Exhale, hands release. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, reach up, lift up. Gaze up this time, arms are high and wide. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up, halfway. Exhale, step your left foot to the very back of your mat. It's as if that left foot is on a roller skate. Drop your left knee down. You may want a blanket under the knee if the mat that you have is not cushy enough or you're not on a carpet. And here, in our split leg stance, I want you to find that cat cow in the chest. So all you're gonna do is just look forward, spread the collarbones, inhale, begin your exhale, belly up and in, tuck your chin round the upper back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, tuck in round. One more like that, inhale. Exhale. And then from here, we will step our left, right knee back to meet our left. Find a true cat cow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Tuck our toes and take downward facing dog. This time, look between your hands. Bend your knees and walk your feet up to your hands. Inhale to lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands and step your right foot straight back. 
Drop the right knee down on a blanket if you need to. And then tense your fingers on the mat. We'll inhale, look forward. Find that cow pose shape in the chest and the spine. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last one, inhale. Exhale. From here, plant your hands. Take your right, left knee back to meet your right. Cow pose. Cat pose. Neutral. Tuck your toes. Downward dog. Inhale. Look forward between your hands. Walk your feet up to your hands. Halfway lift and find your forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, take your hands to your heart. We'll take our dynamic chair. So I love this, it's so nice for linking breath to movement and for experiencing the lift that we need in the pelvic floor, in the core, for this dynamic and strength building posture. So we're not going to hold our chair pose tr like traditional um, vinyasa practice, we're actually going to flow through it. On your inhale, I want you to reach your arms high and wide and sit your legs low. On your exhale, push into your heels, release your arms. Begin your inhale, then sit and lift. Begin your exhale, straighten and lower. Good. Three more like that. Inhale, sit and lift the arms. Look up if you'd like. Exhale, Drive the heels down and lower. Inhale, sit and reach. Exhale, press and lower. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, reach high and wide. Begin that exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Inhale up, halfway. Exhale, left leg steps back. Drop your left knee. Take your right hand to your right thigh. Take your left hand to your right thigh and push to lift your chest. From here, we'll take our arms high and wide on an inhale. And then on an exhale, release your hands down. Right hand to your right knee. Inhale twist by pressing your right hand into the ground and opening your chest out to the right. On an exhale, plant your right hand inside of your right foot. Take your left foot to the right edge of your mat. So you'll kick the, right, the left foot over to the right so it's perpendicular to your right foot. Now, that niyasa movement that we started our class with, You'll take the left hand to sweep up the right arm. Inhale. Exhale, back down. Inhale, open. Exhale, back down. Last one, inhale, open up. Exhale, back down. And then walk your hands to the long edge of your mat. Drop your right knee in. The left knee is in as well. So your legs are on this kind of funky internal rotation angle. I want you to walk yourself up, hands on your hips. And we'll take uh, another dynamic transition, really lovely for what happens in the hips. And it's my belief we don't get enough of this internal rotation in much of our daily life and not in our yoga practice either. So working with that, Play with keeping your hands on your hips. Try not to push your pelvis forward or stick your booty back. So from here, we're gonna open the right knee up as we root the right foot. So my foot is gonna stay right here the whole time. Watch how this goes. You're simply going to rock the weight into your left side as you lift your right knee and plant your right foot. Gaze over your right knee and then rotate back. That's the exhale. Inhale, belly is up and in. Rotate the left knee up and out. Gaze to your left and back to the center. Twice more each side. Inhale, open. Begin your exhale, close. 
Inhale, open up. Exhale, close it off. Inhale, open. Exhale, rotate again. A blanket under the knees, super helpful here. Inhale, open out to the left. Exhale, wrap the left knee in. We'll come back around this way. Bring the left knee back in line. Step the right knee back to meet the left. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, toes tuck, hips high. Heels low, down dog. Inhale, look forward. Walk your feet up to your hands. Halfway lift. Plant your hands and step your right foot back. Drop your right knee down. Left hand to left knee. Right hand to right knee. Push to lift your chest. Inhale, arms high and wide. Reach. Look up. Exhale, float the hands back down. Right hand to the mat. Left hand to your left knee. Press into your right hand. Press into your left hand. Twist. Gaze up. Extend through the crown of your head. So the tendency is to kind of lift the chin away and crunch the back of the neck. We want to find length in both sides of the neck. From here, turn your chest back down. Plant your left hand inside of your left foot. Take your right foot off of the mat, perpendicular here. And we'll find that sweep. The right hand will sweep across the left, across the chest and up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale. Exhale, lower. And then from here, walk your hands around. We'll find that internal rotation again, bringing the hands up to the hips. And you'll see this from behind now how the shape happens. So we'll start with going to the left this time and we'll add on. Shoulders down your back, begin your inhale and then open up to the left. On your exhale, we'll sweep the left hand down, the right hand up and over. On your inhale, rise up. On your exhale, drop your left knee back in. Inhale, right foot opens. Exhale, sweep up, and you may want a block or something to support inside of the foot here, but you'll have to move it each time, so keep that in mind. Sweep up, exhale, inhale, left side, exhale, reach, inhale, center, right side with your breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale. Inhale, rise, exhale, release. Last time. Inhale, rise, exhale. Rotate back into the left foot. Bring your right leg perpendicular, parallel again. Plant your hands. Step your left leg back in line with your right. Inhale through cow. Exhale through cat. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands to the middle of your mat. Walk your feet to your hands. Bend your knees, look forward. Straighten your legs, fold. Bend your knees, look forward. Straighten your legs and fold. Last one like that. Bend and look forward. Straighten and fold. And then from here, we'll rise all the way up for our last standing posture. Hands to your heart. We'll take dynamic tree now. So I'm going to face you. You can stay facing the top of your mat. Dynamic tree 
is much like it sounds, a moving, switching sides version of tree pose. So what I don't want to see is a great big, although I can't see you, you know what I mean, a great big circle with the leg. This can be very small. So I'm simply going to lift on an inhale, release on an exhale. Lift the left leg on an inhale, release on the exhale. Inhale, it's actually harder, more work in the hip socket to me, doing this micro movement, than if I were to take a big circle. But you can make these circles a little bigger progressively as you go. If there's any popping or cracking in the hips, I want you to back off and go to a smaller circle. I also do not want you lifting the knee higher than the hip at any point. So this isn't about how big you can go. If you want a little added challenge, your hands can come to your heart. Try to stabilize through the upper body. So not swaying side to side, but keeping your torso nice and stable. A few more rounds each side. Breath to movement. Inhale, lifts. The exhale, lowers. Inhale, lifts. Exhale, lowers. Last round. Right side, left side. Release. Come back to the front of our mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bend your knees. Find a ball pose. And then from here, option to walk your hands back to sit your bum down or play with a little core strength. Really round your spine, rock your weight into your heels, and drop your bum. From here, little bit of core work. So um, the core, you know, we hear core work or abs and all that. And yes, yeah, important to have a strong and stable core more for our overall health than to have six pack abs or a flat tummy. But also the core is the home of the, uh, the, oh my gosh, give me a second guys. Um, one of our solar plexus, right? So um, our third chakra. And this is our place of uh, empowerment, self-worth. And so when we have this strength in our core, there is also a deeper, more um, connected meaning to how we feel grounded and how we feel about ourselves. So I do like to integrate core work and awareness of core into just about every practice. So even though we're very gentle today, I want to get a little bit of this. So you're in a boat pose modified here. Your legs are bent. You're pressing your heels down into the earth and right then and there you'll feel your belly fire up. Now you can bend and wrap your elbows in, pull against your shins and lift your chest. Drive your heels into the mat and extend through the crown of your head. So right here strong and active. I'm not rounding my spine. I'm not rocking my weight back. Instead I'm lifting my chest using the strength of my belly and I'm simply breathing. Now, if you're not feeling any activation here, check in with where you are, maybe look in the mirror, make sure you're not rounding, make sure you're driving your hip points and your heels down. If you need a little more, you can begin to draw the toes toward you. Push your heels down, stay here and breathe, or maybe release your hands. If you've released the hands and rounded your spine, bring your hands back and use them to lift your chest. Take one more breath in, just an isometric hold here. And then if you've lifted the toes, release. Now round your back and come on down. Now if you have a blanket, um, a prop of any sort, I encourage you to grab that. We're going to take a supported bridge. So a stack of books can work really nicely here. Bring the, blo the block or the books on the flattest part of your sacrum. So I want you to feel your tailbone draping slightly, the very tip of your tailbone draping slightly over your prop. And I do not want you to have anything on your low back. So the low back is suspended, the flattest part of our pelvis is supported, and our palms face up. Here I invite you to inhale and make fists. 
Exhale, lion's breath, sigh it out, expand those fists. <sighs> Inhale, fists. Exhale. <sighs> Last one. Inhale. Make really tight fists. Squeeze everything. Exhale. <sighs> Soften your hips. Imagine there is a sun-warmed stone resting heavy on your belly, grounding you down. Relax the hip creases, maybe even taking your finger points and giving yourself a little bit of massage here into the hip creases, to the inner part of the hip bones, helping to soften that space, maybe working your way to the outer hips. And when you're ready, find stillness again. Relax and release your jaw. Gently press your heels into the mat. Lift your hips. Set your block to the side. Take your knees together, your feet wide. Take one hand to your heart and the other to your belly. And then very small movement here. I want you to just shift the knees to the left two to three inches. Back to the center, knock them together, shift them to the right. Back to the center, rest them fully on each other, neutralize, and then go to the left. Back to the center, neutralize, relax, then to the right. Last round, back to the center, to the left. Center, right, center, relax, heel toe your feet together, and take a butterfly leg shape, Supta Baddha Konasana, soles together, knees wide, release. Feel your heartbeat, feel your breath. Here, for our Shavasana, this opening, receiving posture, I'd like to lead you in a short but powerful meditation. This is a stream of consciousness style meditation focused on love. Don't overthink, don't overwork. Imagine like a stream passing through. You will allow the thoughts of everything, everyone, every concept that you love, that brings you love, that makes you feel love, simply flowing through you. If you'd like to take the time to land with one particular thought, you can do so. If you feel a pause, feel though as though you get stuck, just breathe and know that the stream will continue to flow. Be aware that there is abundance. So we'll take a breath in. Big breath out, clear your mind, and then let the thoughts of love flow through naturally. People, places, feelings, colors, sights, smells. Animals, memory, all flowing through. Images, words. Allowing your body. 
body, your mind. Fully experience this flood of love. stuck, use your breath, come back. As you're ready, simply land on a repetition with breath of the word love. to stay longer here. Enjoy. Notice your state of being. As you're ready, draw your knees together. Bring your knees gently into your chest. Landing this last thought, giving yourself a hug in self-love. And a release for your Shavasana. Toes roll out, palms face up, eyes to close. I will leave you here to enjoy the sweetness of your Shavasana and in gratitude for the time you spent with me with a greeting to yourself renewed, awakened and refreshed thank you Namaste Namaste